Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. Today we're going to inflate the tires to what the recommended PSI is for Wanda. And we're going to torque the lug nuts. We're supposed to torque them according to the manual. Your first 10 miles, 25 and 50 miles. So Wanda's gone about 12 miles. <laughs> That's all I've driven. And then tomorrow we are actually leaving for the Airstream Rally, Las Vegas Club, to Lake Havasu, which is like 120 miles from here. Here meaning Las Vegas. So we're gonna torque the lug nuts. And according to this, I have aluminum wheels, and I'm supposed to torque it at 100 and 110 pounds. Okay, I have never used a torque wrench. I, my father had me tear apart an engine and a car. Mercury Monarch 1976. I actually know how to tear apart a car and put it back together again. Hated it. Got my fingernails all dirty and now I'm getting them dirty again. I just had a manicure yesterday too. Anyway, I've never used a torque wrench. We just tightened the tires until they didn't go anymore. But according to this, if you turn it too far, you'll break it. Okay, so never having used a torque wrench in my life, I actually had to read the directions for this. Okay, so this is a torque wrench. <laughs> and there are numbers here. <laughs> and that's the pounds per, s the number of pounds you're supposed to calibrate it to. Okay, and according to the manual, I had no clue how to do this. You turn, you push this down like that, and then you go to the number, which is 110 here, until you, so you turn it until you get to that number. So the zero should line up with, with this thing. That's 100. One more turn. Okay, that's 110. Now, if you, for example, this is in the nominations of tens. So if you needed to torque it to, say, 115, you would turn this knobby, which has numbers all the way around it, where the five lines up with this line. So, there it is, we're torqued. Okay, and conveniently, they did not come with this thing. What is this called? A nut? I don't know. So I had to figure out what size that lug nut is and get this at AutoZone which is 3 16th. That's the size of that lug nut. So we attach this to this, labeled it. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, and it's clockwise. You're supposed to turn it until you hear a click. Okay, here it goes. That was the click. 
also need an extension part here. <sighs> they don't make this easy. Why don't they just come with all the pieces you need? You gotta buy everything separate. It's a la carte. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rest of the tires. You don't need to watch this part. <sighs> Alright, all the lug nuts have been torqued to 110 pounds. I'm gonna need to get an extender so I'm not hitting this thing. Because when I was torquing it, I was hitting it. So either an extender or a shorter torque wrench. exhausting. Way too much manual labor involved in this thing. Okay, now the PSI, the correct PSI for the tires. I got this oh, battery pump thing. It's an external battery, jumper cables, flashlight, the only thing is, it's really bulky and it's heavy. It's probably 15, 15 pounds. I really don't need all of this. So, we're gonna go shopping, probably Walmart or Target, and just get a little compact one. One with a max of this has a max of 80 PSI. So nothing more than that. As far as the car tires, the car tires are only what? At most, 50. So I think this goes up to like 120. I don't need that much. So I'm gonna find something that's more compact and lighter. Ugh. Okay, so how do you read PSI on tires, on the tire itself, and what the recommended PSI for one is? Let me show you where it's at. Okay, according to the label on the Airstream, it's right here. Cold tire pressure. That means you haven't driven it anywhere. It's been sitting overnight. It's 80 PSI. 80 PSI, 80 PSI. For the front, the rear, and the spare. So we're gonna pump it up to 80 PSI. Make sure you get yourself a good tire pressure gauge. Okay, this one, this tire is reading at 74.8. Okay. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's in the back. That turn this on. Seventy four. What 
81, too high. <laughs> Seventy nine point six, close enough. Uh. Okay, we're going to do that for all the tires. In the meantime, let me show you how to read a tire. And again, this is something that I contribute to my father. Okay, the tires that came with the Airstream is Goodyear Endurance. And the model of the tire is ST225. I don't know what that is, but it's a 15, 15 inch tire and then to find out when this tire was made you look for the DOT Department of Transportation there's a whole bunch of numbers here I have no clue what those are but this is what you're looking for 1618 16 is the number of weeks so this was made in 2018 on the 16th week of 2018. So that would be what? April? About April? April 2018. So this is still a fairly good tire. It should last another four years. <laughs> I hope you found this episode somewhat informative. This is the first time I'm doing all of this tire stuff for Wanda. Hopefully this becomes my routine. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> all right. Thanks again for watching. Bye.